Now, the Communist Party of India, Marxist, has condemned the incident. After all, it's the ruling party in the state of Kerala, and uh, some of their uh, representatives have spoken and said that they hope that justice is done, that the culprits are found. Mm, that is a very unfortunate event. In the night it happened. The chief minister has gone there. I hope they will find out the culprit and this type of stray attack to create trouble there. That should be checked. Well, Priyank Tripathi as well as Vivek Karandalam are currently with us to give us some idea of the progress that's been made in the investigation so far. Let me in fact go across immediately to Vivek first, who's reporting from Kerala on this. Vivek, what is the Kerala police saying about the leads so far? Have they been able to ascertain any motives with respect to why this attack took place inside the train? Uh, see, uh, Siddharth, as of now, uh, the Kerala police is, uh, you, know, uh, whole, you know, is basically uh, looking into the angle of, uh, you know, checking various migrant labor camps uh, in uh, Koriko, Malapuram districts. Uh, they have uh, come out with a sketch, uh, you know, following the account uh, of an eyewitness. Uh, his name is Rasik. He was sitting in the front row uh, in the D1 uh, coach. Now, uh, uh, you know, Basically, on this, depending on this particular sketch, uh, they are uh, trying to ascertain, uh, you know, the identity of this particular person. One person was uh, narrowed down, and uh, they basically uh, try to. They, they found out that he is from UP in Noida, and uh, you know, the uh, team of police officials and from, uh, two members of the RPF have gone to uh, Noida yesterday, and uh, they are, uh, you know, trying to ascertain his address, his background details. Uh, but as of now, in Kerala. And RPF and the Kerala police team is combinedly conducting an investigation on this matter. There is, uh, you know, uh, a detailed investigation has been conducted. An 18-member team has been constituted, uh, which has been supervised by ADGP, uh, Law and Order Ajit Kumar, uh, and also Vikraman, uh, the SP. The French SP is also coordinating this particular uh, team. Uh, till now, uh, you know, they have been able to detain four to five people, uh, you know, from Korikot uh, and Kannur, uh, and they have been questioning them. But till now, there is no major leads that has come out. Remember, it's more than 36 hours that incident uh, has taken place, uh, and uh, they were not able to nab uh, anyone. Uh, is, an arrest has not been made till now, which is even more shocking. But what is even more worrying and concerning, as far as uh, you know, this issue is that. The safety and security of railway passengers is something which has become a major concern at this point of time because in the history of Southern Railway, such an incident okay. has not taken place and this is something which uh, the RPF and the GRP is con uh, concerned. Even though there are CCTV cameras, uh, okay. even though there are lights, uh, high mask lights, uh, you know, in each and every station, but, uh, you know, when such an incident has happened, uh, you know, how to react on this, you know, what were the, you know, faults uh, from the side of the uh, RPF and the GRP. Sure. These are being certain right now. The okay. NIA has taken up this uh, case. Uh, the NIA team has come there and, you know, inspected. Okay, Vivek, uh, let me in fact go across to uh, Priyank as well. He's been tracked.